Actress is a pseudonym for Darren Cunningham, who is a British electronic musician from Wolverhampton, which is just outside Birmingham. Uh, he was a professional footballer for West Bromwich Albion. After an injury that derailed his career, he started doing music instead. Uh, he got involved in the London club scene. Uh, he actually formed a label out of a club night out of that. Uh, he released his first studio album in 2008 and has released eight more since. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was the second studio album by um, Actress, and it's my first time listening to it. And sometimes I feel like uh, I'm doing a review, and I feel like what I really want to just do is say, meh, and leave it at that. Um, because that's kind of how I feel about this album, but I do think I, uh, I'm going to do more than that, because this is what I'm trying to do, is not just kind of fob you off with one word. Um, so, description. This is electronic. It's somewhere on the experimental techno spectrum. I couldn't place it precisely. Um, it's mostly sounds. There's some speech snippets. Sometimes that's quite processed. Uh, there are some tracks that don't have a lot in the way of rhythm. In fact, there was at least one where it felt like it was caught between different possible rhythms. And as soon as you felt like you'd got a place where you could kind of feel where there's some regularity, not everything was in time. For that, so I presume that that's um, uh, deliberate. Sometimes it feels like it's music where it's had a rhythm and the music, the rhythm's been taken out, and so it's kind of like it's it's got the the backing stuff without an actual rhythm. Uh, sometimes there's some deep synthy bass noises. Uh, sometimes there's some twittery percussive noises. Sometimes there's noises that kind of sound like notes, but there's quite a lot that's just noises in there with uh, rhythms going on, uh, yeah. Uh, a few tracks of grooves that I like. Um, so the <clears throat> the tracks that I liked most are the ones where you got a groove and I actually quite enjoyed the groove. Um, some of them, uh, the ones that I liked least were ones where they, they used a particular bass that sounded like it was overdriving speakers with a bit of distortion that sounds like that. So there's different kinds of distortion. I know there's loads of different kinds of distortion. Um, the classic one is the sound of uh, overdriven valves from a valve amp, um, and that's that kind of classic crunchy guitar sound uh, that you get. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I, I quite like a bit of that kind of overdrive. In fact, sometimes quite a lot of that kind of distortion. But I don't like distortion when it's the, the kind that just sounds like it's the speakers being pushed too far. It sounds ugly to me. Um, yeah, maybe it's because I've done a bit of sound stuff in the past and you know, I try and avoid nasty sounds like that and the, the sound of mains hum and things like that. Um so those kind of things tend to put me off. Uh, sometimes it uses, so the, this isn't the first time that I've reviewed an actress album. The last time I uh, started commenting about this uh, sound that you get, which is the kind of a ducking in the, uh, the level of the sound. Um, and sometimes that happens with um, when there's a bass beat, um, and that's called sidechain ducking. Now, um, actress has used a, a particular technique which is to do that but then actually take out the bass drum note that gives that so you just get the duck without the bass drum note so this is he calls this apparently invisible side chain ducking uh, so the the volume responds to a compression uh sorry the yeah the the compression responds to a volume spike uh, and and ducks um but the beat that triggers that is uh, mixed out probably my favorite track on this is hubble um which is the first track um, which was had a reasonably nice groove that I could get into. Um, pretty much all of it follows uh, a couple of rules that I like to say exist. Well, actually, the, the first one exists, and the second one I'm probably about to propose. So the first one is Dan's binary rule of electronic music, which is that electronic music has to follow patterns of four bars, eight bars, uh, 16 bars, 32 bars. When you make changes or big changes, they always seem to happen on these boundaries. Um, and the second one is I'm going to introduce as Dan's rule of musical focus. So I noticed years ago, um, and actually I noticed it when I was listening to ABBA, that um, one of the bits of um, genius in the way that ABBA music works is that there's always something to focus on. So 
when it's the singing, there's the singing, but in the between the singing, there's nice hooky bits of instrumental stuff going on. Um, and having realized that years ago, it is something that I've used as a thought on music since, is that, you know, when you're listening to something, what is the intended focus at this point? And this applies with uh, quite a lot of electronic music, is that you establish something, um, and then you have something that's decorating that's going on the top, and then your focus can be your established uh, backbone because it changes and so you you need to get used to the change and then once that's kind of established you can have other things that go on uh, some music i complain in my head about this i don't think it's got enough stuff to focus on as i think that this in the main actually does follow this and pretty much always has something new or interesting that you can focus on and um, as i said i've reviewed one of his albums before i wasn't hugely taken with that album and i have to say i've Although this is slightly more interesting, I'm still not really getting a, a, a strong feeling that I like this. Um, I can see how other people might, but there's too many kind of annoying noises for me, I think is probably the problem with it. Uh, so I just don't gel with it. It doesn't, it doesn't give me joy. Um, it doesn't make me absolutely hate it, but I'm, just, I'm very kind of meh. So I, yeah, in the end, I'm coming back to the word. Yeah, that's what I think. What do you think? I'd love to know what you think of this album, so please do talk to me through a comment. And that's it from me for now.